DNA analysis is not just for crime solving or paternity tests. In archaeology, DNA from ancient human remains can reveal our evolution, migration, and lifestyle. It can even uncover ghost populations, which are ancient groups of humans deduced through genetic analysis, despite the lack of archaeological evidence. At the Shumlaka archaeological site in Cameroon, researchers discovered ancient human bones rich in well-preserved DNA. This is a significant find, as the hot, humid climate of Central Africa often makes it difficult to extract ancient DNA. The story of Homo sapiens, or modern humans, is deeply rooted in Africa, spanning hundreds of thousands of years. Around 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began to exhibit unique physical and behavioral traits, including the development of sophisticated tools, symbolic thinking, and language. The transition from archaic hominids to Homo sapiens involved complex interactions with the environment, climate adaptations, language development, and cultural evolution. Over time, Homo sapiens dispersed from Africa and populated other parts of the world. A ghost population is an inferred or hypothesized ancient group of humans, identified through statistical modeling and genetic data analysis. Despite the absence of archaeological evidence, their genetic legacy can be traced in the genomes of contemporary or descendant populations. The Shum Laka site is located in the Bantu language basin, the birthplace of the Bantu language. This language forms the linguistic base of many African languages and is used by archaeologists to track human migration. The DNA collected from the Shum Laka children revealed that they were not related to today's Bantu speakers. This points to a previously unknown population, prompting researchers to compare the newfound DNA with other ancient human DNA. The Shumlaka children's DNA is most closely linked to the Biaka and AKA groups, known as pygmies. Their nomadic society can be traced to present-day Central African Republic and the Republic of the Congo. By comparing the Shumlaka children's DNA with ancient DNA from Ethiopia's Mota Cave, researchers revised the timeline for early human activity, pushing the emergence of hunter-gatherer cultures in Central Africa back by about 50,000 years. The discovery of this ghost population DNA suggests that our early history was more diverse and complex than previously thought. It provides insights into the different groups that once lived in the region before the Bantus, lifting the veil over the human past. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.